about to miss his flight and that. Yo. But we're gonna make him miss it on purpose. The <laughs> geezer just come yesterday and he's so eager to go back. Yeah, I don't know why he don't like us, bro. We're gonna change his name from Mikhail Mala to Mikhail Bala. He like homie, bro. The jet ski wave, baby. <laughs> Where is this guy? Barhireplug.ae. I'm very busy. And you're disturbing me. Ever see the way I'm living, you think big mood. A bit of a legal oh. activity happening. But as you can see, the gold is stacked to the roof of fabric. Feel like I'm in Emmerdale. Need to beef up and be like bull flowers. So we've just made it to Humberside Police Station. Fun times, eh? Fun times. Welcome back to KBT Weekly and we're still out here in Dubai. A man like Mikhail Mala has just landed. Just walking out of my hotel now. Dubai is just different man. Everywhere you go is just fancy, you know what I'm saying? Fancy. So, just going out front, just gonna go and pick up my car. And then I'm heading straight to Abby's apartment. So in true Dubai fashion, we always got big whips parked outside. So you got the big Phantom there, and you got the Cullinan there. I mean, G-Wagons are like ants. They're everywhere. There's one there, there's one there. And is that a Eurus park behind it, or is that another G-Wagon? I'm not sure. Range Rovers, Euruses, G-Wagons, even Cullinans now. They're 10 a penny, man. You find them everywhere here in Dubai. And my whips just turned up just here. This is the other beauty of Dubai. It's lazy boy lifestyle. The cars are bought to you, valet parked, doors are open for you. What more do you want, man? Obviously, money talks, baby. Thank you, brother. Thank you so much. Dubai is just one long straight road, and it the SZR Sheikh Zayed Road takes you all the way to. Dira, oh, and then if you go the other way, all the way to Abu Dhabi, and I'm sure it goes past that as well. Yo, we just turned up to Abby's apartment, Come and look man. who we found, man like Mikhail, yeah? yeah? Live and direct, landed just from Lebanon, straight off deployment. One day only. <laughs> For one day only, you know. Come on, give yeah. us a quick 10 seconds. Oh, so, oh, you know what? How, how did I not even realize that? <laughs> <break out. laughs> <laughs> Sidna Nabi Kamarun Kamarun So these are the views from Jumeirah Zabil Saray from my balcony I was down at the pool just there uh, earlier on this morning just soaking up the sun as you know I've got psoriasis so there's actually no cure for psoriasis whatsoever but what they do say is the sun does help I've only been here, what, two, three days now, and Alhamdulillah, my, my hand has actually cleared up so much uh, while I've been here. So I'm actually considering extending my stay. I spoke to my mom today. She's given me a list of things that she wants. Tomorrow I'm gonna go jet skiing with Abid, inshallah, and then after that, I'm gonna go do a bit of shopping. We're gonna go to the gold souk. But other than that, man, we're just chilling. We're out here in Dubai still, living life, Alhamdulillah. All thanks be to Allah. I keep walking to the wrong side. I keep forgetting which country I'm in. Yo, big shout out to Russ for this whip, man. G-Wagon is such a nice car. We're on the Sheikh Zayed Road, and the last time I came here, this museum was not even made. Engineering masterpieces everywhere. To think this whole thing was a desert at one point. Crazy. But I'm about five kilometers away from Abid's apartment. Man decided to live on the other side of Dubai. It is what it is. Basically, man like Mika is about to miss his flight and that. Yo. But we're gonna make him miss it on purpose. The <laughs> geezer just come yesterday and he's so eager to go back. Yeah, I don't know why he don't like us, bro. Why don't, why don't you like us, bro? Yeah, basically, he's got two options. Go on. One, BA changes, uh, lets him change his flight. Are you in British For 70 pounds on yeah. Thursday, okay. if he wants. Unless he wants to book a new flight, yeah. it's 300 pounds on Wednesday. What we say, KBT Weekly, man like Mikhail used to miss his flight, yeah? <laughs> Come on. Straight to the gulag and that. Yeah? 
We're gonna change his name from Mikhail Mala to Mikhail Bala. <laughs> yeah? A man like Mikhail's gone inside and we're just waiting around the corner because personally I don't think he's gonna make his flight. I mean is he making his flight? It's a 50-50 man. I I'll be honest, likelihood is no because he needs to collect his bag. Missing bag. And that's probably gonna take him another 20 minutes. Half an hour. We just parked outside Emirates flight catering and because uh, this is what we do on holiday, innit? Uh, I mean, That's it, bro. We're just we'll vibes by it. the airport and uh, wait for our flight back. Yeah. <laughs> hey, come on, G. We live, Yeah, baby. we live. Yeah, all right. Yo, man got no internet and that. You get me? But I've been it. <laughs> Two very boring minutes later. All right, we're just waiting on Mikhail still. Hopefully, inshallah, he does make it. And hopefully, inshallah, he doesn't make it as well because we're going to jet skiing in the morning. Actually, look, you hope he misses. <laughs> you know what? If he does and he watches this vlog next week, he's gonna be switching. <laughs> yeah. right, but listen, I'm gonna end the vlog here. I'll catch you in the morning. So, you join me in Dira slash Naif. I've just popped over here to pick up my mum's buyers. This is what Dubai was basically before they modernized it. Bagger man just w walking around in Shalwar Kameez. So yeah man, definitely gives you Pakistan vibes. So, just park the car up. Assalamu alaikum Bajan. So, as you can see, there's little concessions. I'm actually looking for this place here, Al Manal Centre. Hopefully the guy's still there, he did say half ten. So guys, as I said, I've just come to pick up these abayas. They're not quite ready, so a bit of a wasted trip. But as I was saying guys, do mention my name, the brothers will make sure they give you a good price. As I said, we've been coming here for years. How many years have you been? MashaAllah, six years, seven years. Mom, myself, have been coming here for the last six, seven years. Uh, make sure you ask for Muhammad, tell him Faris sent you, and he'll definitely, definitely do you a good deal. Hey bro, what's your name? Saddam. Saddam? Yes. So man like Saddam, he's got basically everything. He's got watches, yes. phone cases, Hair dryers, hair straighteners, you name it, man. Your fidget spinners. Yes, this is my yeah? friend Seri Pula. He also doing business. Yes, Seri Pula. How are you, brother? Alhamdulillah, you okay? Yes, you gentlemen, you're doing YouTuber. Yeah, KBT. Oh, yes, coming in. KBT. I will follow your channel and don't Make sure subscribe, inshallah, yeah? Nakia, Bajan? Nakia? Abdul Manal. Abdul Manal. Yeah, so yes, again, Shalwar Kameez. Uh, Abayas and Jubbas, good price. good price, yeah. Habibullah, Habibullah Akbar Khan trading. One three zero. One three zero, mashallah. But yeah, as I said, okay, Allah is. But as I said, there's just rows and rows and rows of shops here. Yeah, but this is one number shop, huh? Number one shop. Yeah. Everybody here, number one, brother. <laughs> no, no, me number six. <laughs> but yeah, um, as I was saying, yeah, I'm just getting stuck by loads of people, I'm just wondering what I'm filming for. But yeah, it's good, man. It's good. Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah. Very good morning to you, Sheikh. Very good afternoon, sir. Is it afternoon? Oh, yeah, sorry. Right. What's happening? What are we up to today? We are gonna go on a jet ski right now, inshallah. Inshallah. Enjoy, enjoy yourself, inshallah. Yeah. You know, have a bit of halal fun. Are we, go, are we going to the gulag on our water? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that the means. Gulag only, bro. <laughs> <laughs> what you decide, boy? Are you have to take your sandals? Looks like people. Are yeah. Uh, now nah, you don't need the sandals, really. I'll take it off. Leave now. the sandals. All right, that'd be a naughty picture right now. You know, hold on, let me take a picture. With a burger Arab behind you. Oh yeah, there is a burger Arab there. The burger. The jet ski wave, baby. The jet ski life. Come on. Yo, what's going on? 
Abidor on this jet ski thing. We're out here. Man, like Ferris on the left and that. Yo, Ferris! We're going to the Gulag, baby! <laughs> so, we're just back at the harbour. What an experience, man. Sheik, how was your experience? Amazing, amazing. 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 Yeah? Loved it. This was different. It was really nice. I mean, fast. The blue, blue water. This boots. why I love doing jet skiing, man. It's such a, it's such a rush. So just back at the hotel. A uh, man like Ross is outside. He's come to collect the G wagon. Got another booking on that. He has told me he's got something else for me. So let's go and see what he's bought. And there he is. Yo, ever see the way I'm living, you think big mood. Man's pulled up in the Urus, you know. Man like Ross is back, yeah? And it's getting better every time I see this guy. You good, yeah? Man's come to collect the G-Wagon, but he's dropping off setting even better. We're in the Urus for the next two days, baby. Let's head out. There's the Big Burj Khalifa. I think that's the address hotel. Don't quote me on that. The Dubai Mall, Fountain Views, and all the rest of the fancy business. I guess it's someone's birthday. It's a mad racket. Yeah, just sat down at Season Borough. Still going, still going, still going, still going, still going, still going, and boy, that is one big plate of mixed grill. Right, so dessert has just turned up, and we've got some baklava. Go on, brother. Famous Season Borough. So, just finished eating, just got my Turkish tea. The queues have started. I do recommend it, man. It lived up to the hype. I didn't think it would, I'll be honest with you. Nusrat's overhyped, if you ask me. This place is definitely on the mark. So I'm just gonna head into the mall now, go do a bit of shopping with the family. Oh, yeah. Lovely job. So yet again, early in the morning, I got a message from this man saying, I'm on the way. I says, what are you bringing me? He says, you'll see. Surprise, so surprise. the Eurus is going back. And boy, we're in the Hurricane Evo for the last day of the holiday. I'm not complaining. I'm not looking forward to going back home, but it is what it is. Playtime's over. Well, not quite yet. Playtime's not yet, quite not over yet. yet. Not yet. Not yet. yet. The roof's off. The roof's off. off. The roof's off. But when the roof comes back up, we gotta fly home and we gotta get back to the office, man. But you know what? It's been a wicked holiday, and this man's made it ever so special for me as well. So big love to Russ, man. Big love. But yo, I gotta say that Eurus is our baddest 4 by 4 by far. The way that handles round corners, you would never think that it's that big of a car. Car hire plug. AE make sure you go and check them out so it's my last evening here in dubai i've just pulled up in my opinion to the best burger spot in the whole of dubai we're in the hurricane evo it's an absolute beaut to drive a gorgeous color as well pops in the day this does and you know what it looks just as nice at night this is so on kite beach Yes, boys. Hello. How, How are we? How are you? You okay? Yeah, I'm good. What's Thank your you. names? Vipin and Anand. Nice to see you. Thank you, you too. You'll be on YouTube this Sunday. You're in my sure. vlog, sir. Thank you. Hello, guys. Welcome to my YouTube. Welcome vlog. <laughs> Say big up KBT Weekly. Big, big up KBT, KBT Weekly. Weekly. Come on, come on, boys. Yes, yes. Come to Dubai, Habibi. Yes, Habibi. Come to Dubai, huh? Come to Dubai. Come to Salt for the best burger. Well, let's head on in, go and order some food, take it back to the hotel. Family are currently packing 
as our flight leaves at 2 p.m. tomorrow. But this is salt on Kite Beach. You know, when I first came here in 2014, it looked nothing like this. It was literally just one of these trailers, literally just one of these trailers. But now, if you look at it, it's a full vibe. You got indoor section here and outdoor seating as well. But yeah, I'm gonna go order my food. What are you saying, Abid? The Dubai life, yeah? Last day, mate. A new M3 here as well. And what's that, GT3? Uh, yeah, GT3. Uh, buy that full card, those please. The Dubai lifestyle, baby. And the delivery bike. Come on. The Mala Abid, yeah? Come on. In the Taub and that. In the Taub. MashaAllah. Take care, boys. Love. Just filling up the beast. 20 quid full tank. I mean, what are you saying? Chilling, bro. Moving here just for the yeah. fuel prices, bro. yeah? <laughs> bro, bro, bro. Oh, listen, what are you saying? I mean, fast and furious and that. Yo, this, yo, how long do you think this has lasted? Wait, how long do you think it will take us to drive this back to London? How long do you think this, this tank will last us, bro? That? A long Probably time. about two years. Real? Yeah, how many gallons is it? Bears. Like, they carry like 25,000 litres, isn't it? Yeah, fully. Yo. Horrican looking dotty. It's our last night, just went out with Abid, smoked some shisha, had some chocolate cake, and some baklava and all the rest of it. But yeah, man, we're just heading home. Let's watch some snaps of the boys back home. Uh, the weather's not looking too tough, man. I'm not looking forward. To getting home it's my last night but look who i have but look who i found lurking around dubai man like i mean you know come on what are you saying i mean come on don't be shy bro big faris in the house no no big i mean is that, look at the guns baby yo we're just popping into starbucks I'm gonna get a quick drink i mean just landed not too long ago literally got off the plane about an hour ago just gonna go for a quick drink and then uh I'm gonna go home and catch on some sleep. But Amin's gonna live the Dubai life for me now for the next 10 days. Why are you going home? Stay, extend the ticket. I would, man, I would, but obviously, obviously, you might as well go back to work, you get me? Yeah, back to reality. It is what it is. But yeah, last views of the pool and of the beach and of the palm. I'm gonna miss it. So just gonna make our way to the airport and then catch our flight, which is uh, in about three hours time. To be honest with you, I haven't had much sleep. I was active till late night last night. So might just find a nice comfy chair and doze off for a bit. But yeah, that's Dubai done with. And I'll see you guys back at KBT early in the morning. It's been a good week. It's Wednesday now and I'm enjoying a lot, you know. I'm getting used to the stuff and now I know much about the fabric. So it's uh, like more interesting and I'm getting used to it. And the team, my team members, they are very supportive. Great guys, I really appreciate them. And it's that's it. It's the KBT again. So uh, looking forward to do more. Thank you.
make sure you watch the video and please like share and subscribe please thank you if anybody need anything so the link is on below so they can just call them or just come in just check us out like what we're doing so you can see like you know when we you visit to the kbt you can see what we do so we do at the best like if you got repairings we got another guy for repairing we don't send it oh it's finished and just send it so we have to make sure there's no damage if it's damaged then we have to keep it for kbt leave it here and make another one so we repair as well i'm very busy and you're disturbing me i got work to do where's my phone gone I gotta go and see a man about a dog. You don't know what that means, do you? Have you never heard that terminology before? It means mind your own business. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Camera miss me. Yeah. <laughs> go to work. I'm fine, thank you. Yeah, I'm fine, my friend. Also, miss me this guy in the uh, uh, Dubai guy. Where is this guy? Disappeared. <laughs> Gaffa, small gaffa. <laughs>boy is back in the country unfortunately the weather didn't follow me back but I'm back I'm back on the graft okay well, how's it going you miss me I'll take that as a no then but yeah been a week out right? glad to be back in the office get back to a bit of normality a man like Ross is out there as well my cousin doing rentals so I did plug him last week I'll plug him again car hire plug.ae Make sure if you guys fly out to Dubai or you ever find yourself in Dubai and you need a car. He does everyday cars as well as supercars and 4x4s. So do shout at him and make sure you tell him I sent you. But I do need to send this footage over to Armour as well. So I'm just going to do that now quickly. But yeah, I was filming out on the GoPro, the Hero 10. So at least I got a bit of content in for you guys. Kept the momentum going on the weeklies. You know, the work don't stop even if you're on holiday. Me and Armour were talking about the storage wars before KBT Weekly even started. Uh, I took inspiration from the program Storage Wars that's based in America. And in fact, when they did start their series here in the UK, they did contact us. But unfortunately, the location of our sites, most of them are based next to railway lines. So they said because of the noise, etc., it's not suitable for filming onto TV, etc. But obviously, when we're filming ourselves, we can work around that then we need to get a few more cameras because obviously there'll be various different angles which we need to be shooting but yeah that's what me and armor originally discussed prior to starting kbt weekly just uh, i'm gonna love you and leave you let me crack on with this send these files over reply to these emails catch up with saj wherever he is but other than that i'll speak to you guys a little later on uh, we loaded up two vans that were going to london both of them are currently in transit so the customers should be receiving all their goods today there's not a lot of orders for today i think they're finishing them off now rounding them up and uh, faris is back today as well which is a good thing so we can sort out some of the out of stock orders do a bit of reordering and whatnot it's thursday evening we just locked up the office i've just turned up to sia garden which is located literally right next door to kbt we're just gonna head on in go and show our support and martial art from when i left to go to dubai it looked nothing like how it looks now so this is the entrance here on kato street come pull up in an ideal situation i wouldn't sit in a pod because it's far too romantic with two of the mandem 
obviously to give you the full experience of this place we're gonna sit in one of the pods we are also gonna take over the vlog I ain't good at this but you know what I'll give it a go this is uh, our outdoor slash indoor seating obviously it's all covered uh, no rain comes in we've got these fancy fences out we've, we've positioned, positioned them in a way where no water can come in so uh, slats you're on about, yeah? yeah the slats okay, so no, no water comes in from them um, so yeah it'll work in the winter and the summer we serve I'm sure Faris is already explaining to you we, we do shisha desserts food drink mocktails mojitos whatever you like want all heated pods um, we've got five pods at the moment you can book them if you want um, but yeah man I haven't got much more to say but yeah just pop over come over our grand opening tomorrow Friday Friday the 4th of March uh, we're going to be open from 4pm till 1am on Friday and Saturday and 4pm till 12am uh, Sunday to Thursday so yeah man definitely come over uh, when you're shopping at KBT come down for an afternoon drink <laughs> afternoon smoke <laughs> yeah, why not? Why not? Best of both worlds. Come and buy some fabric and then you can come and have a J2O and a smoke. So we've got a 360 degree view of the outside, but it's very private. I'm not really much of a shisha smoker. Obviously, I've been smoking in Dubai for the last seven days as well with a man like Abid. So my lungs are kind of used to it now. Bilal kindly bought us out some virgin mojitos, uh, various different flavors. Armour had a chicken burger. But yeah, man, as I was saying, Sea Garden is the vibe next to kbt man so obviously this is going to be the spot going forward for us when we finish work on the weekends we'll come here for a smoke and obviously these guys are good family friends of ours as well so uh, make sure you guys come and show them some love the official opening is tomorrow friday the 4th of march but do get your bookings in early i know these guys are going to be mad busy the setup here is crazy you know the cold is flipping on that one it's cooling jeez jeez <laughs> Oh yeah, bro. The man's moving like a madman. Anyway, listen, that is everything from this evening. I'll see you guys back in the morning. So in the morning, I'll be traveling down to Hull. Unfortunately, um, one of our properties there, we've had an issue with one of the tenants. Um, but yeah, that's everything from us tonight. Make sure you come and check out Sire Garden, bro. B7 next to KBT, the only shisha spot that you should be at right now. to one of our properties in Hull and we're gonna go and check up on that unfortunately there's been a bit of legal activity happening at our property in Hull so the police have actually boarded it up so I'm gonna go down with my drill and my cutting tool and go and chop some legs off no I'm joking we're gonna take the boarding down and then have a look at the property see what the damage is so the task in hand today I'm gonna to go to Wrexham drop off some rolls there to a customer and then make my way over to Hull so I'm just gonna load up the car quickly Fun times, eh? Fun times. So, we managed to get everything in, just about. I don't know how my passenger is going to sit in the car, though. I know what he's going to say to me. I ain't coming, bro. I'm not coming. I'm staying home. What kind of joke is this? Does that sound like Cam? Right, so I tried to make my way out the door many times, but Alhamdulillah, we had an influx of customers. So, I've just managed to sort everybody out. But now, I'm going to leave. So first up Wrexham and then to Hull. I'll catch you guys on the GoPro. Well, right now we're en route to Wrexham, somewhere in Wales to deliver these rolls. And we're using the Golf as a van yet again. We should really stop doing that, but unfortunately the van wasn't available as the little van has gone to London and the big van has gone to Manchester. Oh, I just added on seven miles to our journey. Seven miles? My back is going to be finished, bro. That's your fault for talking to me. Sorry, man. Yeah, seven miles to A5223. So anyway, we've just missed the junction. But as you can see, the golf is stacked to the roof of fabric. But hopefully, inshallah, we should get this unloaded and then we're going to make our way over to Hull. So I said to man like Cam, search for Greg's. So the one he found was about seven miles away. 
then I seen a shell because I had to put fuel in anyway. And then we seen Greg's. So and the man like camera running in, yeah? We planned that order outside, <laughs> like, what do you want? Yeah, what do you want? Black Everything. coffee, <laughs> cheese on your pasty, yeah, couple of clears. And basically, the situation is, they're still building it. <laughs> so we just hit Wrexham, just done the delivery, put some fuel in the car. Uh, we're about 150 miles away from Hull, so we're going to slowly make our way over to Hull. Why don't we get some fruit? Yeah, Keep it healthy and that, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But I'm saying, let's go cost us so unfortunately no Greg's but we've got a Starbucks just filled up the car we're gonna make our way over to Hull got about 150 miles to do to just tank the beast and again paying one pound 71 for fuel you know jolting back to Dubai we go look at that though I don't know if you guys can see that we're going over a river Directional sign. There we are. Okay, 56 miles, yeah? Mm -hmm. Cool, cool. Right, guys, so a quick update. We've just turned up to our property here on Story Street in Hull, which is just over there. Magic moments. The information that I received from Beth was that the property was boarded up, so I went up to the door. It looks like the locks have been changed, so there's been a bit of a breakdown of communication somewhere in the chain from Humberside Police. Beth and myself so what I've done is I called up uh, Humberside Police they've told me to visit a local police station here so that's what we're about to do we need to beef up in it cuz you know what I'm saying be like brother Faris and that with the big muscles and that place go on then brother Faris pick the place then we go eat in it then we, we should go like to the police station first so we just made it to Humberside police station just walking in hopefully we can get some answers from them well Rather than answers, hopefully we get the key for the door. Uh, if not, we're going to have to call a locksmith out. I think I got somewhere. Uh, she's actually doing some further investigation now as to who's got the key. So I've left my number. So hopefully she said she'll give me a call within the next half an hour if she gets any more information. Um, but failing that, uh, as I say, I might have to get a locksmith. I haven't come all the way here just to turn back without finding out the state of my property etc so let's see what happens we're gonna probably go grab some food now we've been on the road all day and hopefully by the time we've eaten we should get a call from these guys so we went to get some food we ended up getting a german done quickly we're back on story street we're just back outside the property uh had a phone call from i believe this officer here who said he'll meet me at the shop to discuss it further so let's see what he's got to say I finally managed to speak to the officers who are in charge of the case now what they're telling me is they do have a key for the property but they won't let me in because one it's not safe apparently and two there's no electricity in there so we're gonna pop back next week during the day to collect the key from the officer and hopefully I can show you guys next week the damage that has been caused by the tenant we have experienced this in the past with one of our other properties locally so I can only imagine the state of the inside of the shop and hopefully I can film this whole thing for you uh, renovating a commercial property so I love you and leave you and I'll see you all again same time same place next week Hello.